Because you gotta get like a fucking. All right, as you can see, my DeWalt 12 inch double bevel compound sliding miter saw was just delivered. It's uh, model number DWS779. This is uh, very heavy. <laughs> I don't know if you uh, saw the video of me carrying it, but it was uh, a bit heavier than I anticipated. But I did get it over here into my garage. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to unbox this thing, pull it out, show you everything that's in it. I'm going to attempt to set it up here on my uh, little Black & Decker stand. I have a, an actual miter saw stand coming tomorrow that I'll attach this to, but for today, I'll put it up here and I'm gonna try and uh, cut a couple of these four by fours down to, I think it's, they're a little over 25 inches right now. I'm gonna cut them down to 18 inches each because I'm gonna need them for my next uh, build that I'm gonna do. All right, let's get cracking on opening this box. All right, let's go. There's plastic wrapping on here. I think it was uh, supposed to rain today, so that's why they put plastic around it. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. Everything's taped in here. All right, so here's the instruction booklet here. Something I'll probably have to read. Here's a a tool looks like hex on this end and some type of uh, star piece on this end. Tighten and loosen things on the saw itself. Looks like the dust bag is right here. Put that over here for now. Other parts. Oh, okay, this looks like uh, some type of edge stand. There are two of them. I'll just put this stuff right here for now. And we got these two pieces here that are on the top. All right, so on the top of the package, you have these base extensions you have these clamps which which help you know secure these base extensions to the miter saw itself and then you have these wing nuts which go under here there's a screw that's going to go down through this clamp into the wing nut and you you know tighten the wing nut onto it and you tighten everything in place and then you have the dust bag woohoo that's what's on the top. Now let's get this out of the way and see what's underneath here. All right, real quick. I believe this is, uh, okay, this is some type of clamping device that's in here before I pull the whole miter saw out of there. I believe this is what they use to secure the wood if they need to, you know, if you secure the wood before you uh, saw it, you can use this piece. I think the rest of this is all inside here. I'm gonna try to just pull it out of here in all, one fell swoop, see if that happens. All right, this thing is supposed to be 
56 pounds or something like that. It feels more like 75. <laughs> All right, so that was the unboxing. Now let's uh, get this bag off. Let's see what we got under here. There you go, what a beaut. So now I'm gonna take uh, the plastic and the styrofoam off, hopefully in the right way. So the last um, miter saw I had was an old Craftsman. I had it for like, it's a 10 inch I had for 20 years. It finally died on me. So I figure I'll have this for, you know, 20 years. I think right now it's set at an looks like 60 degree angle. I believe there's like a something you press. There we go. Or pull. Yeah, that releases this. Now that we're over here, let's press this down and I can move this over. I think that's the center. Yeah, it says zero right here. The miter comes uh, pretty darn complete. There's even a blade on it. Yeah, 60 teeth. So there are 60 teeth on this blade. So she is ready to rip and roar. Get this out of here. Your plug and get that out of here. Put that over there. And uh, now I'm going to put this miter saw up on my little uh, bench up here. And uh, hopefully it will stay. I mean, I'm not gonna do a lot today. I'll just do a little bit and uh, I'll be as safe as possible, as safe as I can. All right, now what I'm gonna have to do is lift this up, spin it around because I want the front facing out side of my garage and the back where this plug is facing inside the garage so I'm gonna lift up turn around and see if I can set it up here yes it's still heavy what a perfect fit all right it's up here it's not crazy stable but I think these can support what 250 so they're supposed to support around 250 pounds so they can definitely support this um, it's not ideal I know it's obvious I do have more styrofoam under here though that I need to pull out let's see got embedded in the bottom all right, so here it is up on my little Black & Decker Workmate 125. Probably not the uh, most ideal place, but it's gonna sit there for now. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to make some cuts. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's uh, move around some things. Okay, these are already tightened. So I, these little edges here can go back and forth retighten them to lengthen the base back this way if you need it all right let's see if we can't uh, put this base extension in here it goes just like this all right I have you underneath the miter uh, the base here and the way you do this there's this screw right here that's coming down and this fits here then this piece goes in the hole of this screw and then presses against either side of this and then your wing nut hopefully you can see this there's a uh, washer and then the wing nut goes on here there we go finally all right let's make sure this is level on either side 
tighten it a little bit and I got some pliers here that I'll tighten a little further but I don't want to go too hard with them because they'll break this wing nut you know don't want to go crazy and I'll do the other side all right let's do this side bring this over there you go washer wing nut you often been called a wing nut all right perfect it's on there left sides on right sides on one thing we don't have installed it's a dust bag just uh, press it here push it in and she's installed <laughs> now I'll plug her in and see if she'll uh, spin should be pretty simple extension cable here Ooh. just um, untie this it's 120 volt just plug it in all right hopefully you'll see everything here but what i'm going to do is put the 4x4 up here and pull this and go across cut it that way i'll try to i've never used one of these before uh, so i'm going to be holding this piece holding this down make sure it doesn't go anywhere so this is probably how I'm going to do it right here. So I'm going to turn it on. All right, to be able to actually pull this trigger forward or press it this way or this way, you have to first push this little notch over and into itself like this. I don't know if you can see that. But you have to push it over and in before you can pull it. Watch this. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I want to make sure that this bottom part of it has a nice clean cut, clean edge all the way across. So I'm going to hold this down. Here we go. This is a cut right here. Nice. Looks nice to me. It's that 60 tooth. Look at that. That's sweet. I like that. Now I'm going to measure 18 inches and cut it. Looks good to me. All right, again, boom. Nice clean cut, 18 inches. Let's do the next one. All right, that looks nice. All right. All right, looks like I'm just a hair off there, so I'm going to slice it again. Another 18 incher to go with the one down here. These two guys, bam, bam. Beautiful. Looks like it works for me uh, right out of the box. So um, tomorrow I'm going to get this uh, miter stand and um, actually attach this to it. And I'll be able to pick it up and roll it around. I'm going to move it to the back of the garage.
and that's where I'll store it. But uh, this was awesome. So if you like the video, the DeWalt double bevel compound sliding miter saw, uh, model number DWS779, go ahead and click like. And if you like my videos, uh, go ahead and subscribe. We appreciate you guys watching the videos and I hope you guys have a great day. All right, goodbye. Woo. I'll just throw that right there. She's a beaut, folks. Wow.